Okay, so first of all, I'm going to right click on the sheet name at the bottom. Then I'm going to click on view code. This opens up the Visual Basic Editor and I'll go to insert and insert a module. And this is where we're going to type in the code. So I'll start by typing sub, then I need to decide on the name of my macro, so I'm going to call this format selected charts and open and close brackets and enter and it automatically puts in the end sub for me. Then I need to define a variable, so I'm going to type dim and I need to decide what the name of the variable is going to be, so I'm going to call it chart object. Then I need to tell it what type of object this is and it is a chart object. Then I'm going to create a for loop, so I'll type for each chart object in selection and the selection is whatever you have selected so this is going to loop through each of the chart objects in the selection then I need to close off the for loop by typing next and you want to think of the chart object as sort of like the outer box which contains the chart within it. So it is not the chart itself. In order to get to the actual chart, I need to type with chart object dot chart and that will get me to the actual chart. Then I need an end with after this and I am going to press tab in order to indent that to make it easier to see. And now I have it set up so it will loop through all of the charts that I have selected and make a change to them. And I need to put the change I want right in the middle of this. So for the first example, I will change the color of the markers. So I'll type dot series collection and it's going to be the first series marker background color is equal to RGB and then for the numbers I'll put 204 and 102 and 255 and now I have this set up I need to save this and because I have a macro now, I want to save this as a macro enabled workbook. So I'll change the save as type here to an Excel macro enabled workbook. And then I'll save this. And now this is saved, we can run this. So I will select some of the charts. I'll select the first one and then hold down control so I can select multiple charts at once. Then we can go back to the code and now I can run this code. And you can see that it changes the color of the markers for the charts that I have selected. Now we can do another example. So I'll comment out this line of code so that it won't run anymore. And this time I'm going to remove the grid lines. So I'm going to do dot axes, open brackets, Excel value, close brackets, dot has major grid lines equals false. And then this time I want to select different charts. So I'll select the first one again and hold down control and select these ones as well. Then we'll go back to the code and we can run this code again. And this time it removes the grid lines from the charts that I have selected. Okay, so in this video I have shown you how to use VBA in order to format the charts that you have selected in Excel. And that is everything.